So my name is Vincent Creuset. Um, I'm a postdoctoral researcher um, in this beautiful place, which is the Center for Neural Circuits and Behavior at the University of Oxford. I did both my bachelor's and master's in Lausanne, and then I did a PhD there as well. And after nine years in the, at the University of Lausanne, I thought it might be time for me to try and see the world and see different places. It was just extremely easy to move here. I didn't have any paperwork to fill in or anything. And suddenly we start wondering, oh, maybe we need to get a visa, maybe we need to apply for residency and all those kinds of things that make life much more uncertain. The lab I'm working in is a lab that is focused on studying how learning and memory work. Um, and this whole institute uses the fruit fly as a model organism for, for doing various types of research on, on the brain. And my project involves taking all the cells in the fly brain and for each of these cells asking, okay, which genes are active there? So of course Parkinson's disease and lots of other um, neurodegenerative diseases have um, genetic basis and by better understanding how genes work in the brain we can probably understand much more about these diseases and also find genes that could be biomarkers for uh, diagnosis for these diseases but also genes that could be targets for new drugs. I think Brexit was a big blow for all academics because people who are abroad now who would potentially get a job in the UK, they will think twice because they will be our oh, first. I'm not sure about the economic situation of the country and I'm not sure about how the future will be in this country. <laughs> I really enjoy Oxford, it's a good size of city for me. And people in general are friendlier here than they are in Switzerland. I think that social inequalities in the UK are, are worse than in Switzerland, for example, and obviously the quality of life. Switzerland is really, really at the top. The wake-up call will come and when people who voted Brexit will realize that actually the economic situation doesn't improve by leaving the EU, I think this will be, hopefully, make a change of mind, but the problem is that it will be too late.